Crime Wave is a film about the murderous crime spree of two goons, Farron and Arthur, played by Paul L. Smith and Brian James, and their encounters with hapless romantic Vic Ajax, played by Reed Burney, his love interest Nancy, played by Sherry J. Wilson, and her heel of a date Ronaldo, played by the one and only Bruce Campbell. The film was directed by Sam Raimi and written by Raimi and the Coen brothers. That's right, Sam Raimi and the Coen brothers worked on a movie together. It encompasses many genres, including dark comedy, horror, film noir, and slapstick. So what makes Crime Wave worth renting? Well, for starters, this film has a lot of great elements presented by both Raimi and the Coen brothers, most notably its use of clever scene transitions and surreal world. Without spoiling anything, one scene in particular stands out as one you'd find in a Coen brothers movie and makes for a very clever chase scene. And of course, it wouldn't be a true Coen brothers story without the use of Frances McDormand, although she only plays a bit role. With Raimi as the director, there are a lot of typical Raimi moments as well. There are many camera techniques used that he incorporates into his other films, most notably the first person style zooming camera. This is a technique used to show the evil entity moving through the forest in the Evil Dead franchise. Raimi also fills the screen with plenty of slapstick. There are many scenes that feel like they came straight out of a Three Stooges short. Characters survive some crazy beatings throughout the course of the film. Despite this, some characters don't make it to the end of the movie, adding an even darker feel amongst the comedy. In fact, there's even a scene where someone stuffs a dead body into a Salvation Army donation bin. I'm still not sure if this was a Raimi or Coen Brothers joke, but either way, it's comedy gold. Other Raimi elements include the classic Delta 88 making an appearance, Ted Raimi making such a quick cameo that if you blink you very well may miss him, and even a nod to Evil Dead. The most prevalent Raimi element featured in the film, however, is the use of Bruce Campbell as Ronaldo the Heel. Campbell was originally planned to play the role of Vic, the dorky romantic lead, but the studio wanted someone other than him to play the role. Instead, Raimi had him play the macho, overly arrogant Ronaldo, the kind of role Campbell has always played extremely well. Ronaldo's part was even expanded to feature more of Campbell in the film, although in my own personal opinion, it wasn't expanded quite enough. However, one of the best lines in the film, if not the best pickup line ever, comes from Ronaldo. Overall, Crime Wave is an oddly enjoyable film, despite the fact that most of the cast and crew stated it was a very difficult project to work on. It has great humor and cinematography and is worth a rent. And there is a post credit scene, just make sure you rewind the tape when you're done. And if anyone knows where to get a copy of How to Talk to Girls that was featured in the film, please let me know.